Hey, Pete North Las Vegas again. Hey, I thought we'd do another update video. We'll call this uh, part two. And I just kind of wanted to drill down on a, on a few things on my uh, 71 Camaro. Um, five eighths, 45 degree inverted flare, 11 sixteenths. Okay, now on the serpentine kit that I bought from GM, Um, GM changed the, uh, high pressure to a metric fitting. So you have to get an adapter to, uh, switch over to your 45 SAE 45. And, uh, it looks like this. Got a little O-ring on the end. Converts over to 45 degree inverted flare. I'm trying to remember the size that goes on the pump. And I know I got it written down somewhere and I looked around for a while before I tried to make this video just so I could provide some really detailed information on what you need to convert over to uh, from metric to SAE. But it's not hard to figure out if you get online and, and poke around. Uh, you can get it figured out pretty quick. Um, the other thing here is because it's a serpentine kit and why GM decided to do this, I don't know, but on their serpentine kit for this engine back when I bought the kit, this is a reverse flow water pump, meaning it spins in the opposite direction of a standard small block Chevy. Now why they just didn't make the serpentine kit so that it still spins in the same direction, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why they did it. Um, the other thing, um, is I, I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but I went with an MSD starter. And it's called there, I think it was the APS. Let me double check. Yeah, back when I bought it, it was called the MSD APS starter. And that's the part number. It fits small and big block. And it'll run 168 or 153 teeth on a flywheel or flex plate. Now, some Chevrolet blocks took a staggered mount, and that was the part number back then for their staggered mount. Um, I'm not using the staggered mount. So anyway, uh, I think we'll call that update two. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention. Um, I replaced all the brake lines, all the fuel lines with uh, inline, and it's all stainless. And here's the mounting configuration I use for the proportioning valve. And I just, it all really fit nice. I just had to do some very, very minor tweaking on, on some of this. But I mean, I, I barely had to touch it at all. It just, it all bolted right up. So uh, in line, back when I bought this kit, they did a really good job of, of their uh, bends. Um, this is part of the emission system. Um, this goes to the vent system on the gas tank. Uh, I have all those capped off. I'm not going to run it. That's that runs to the charcoal canister, and uh, you're supposed to have a sealed thermos, thermostatic uh, air cleaner. And what all this was actually supposed to accomplish, I don't know. Some California bullshit. But anyway, the car originally started out as a California Camaro, so it did have some smog on it. But I have since. Uh, got the car retitled in Nevada and back then in Nevada none of this none of this stuff was required Okay, so on the the fuel pump if I remember right, this is 110 gallons uh, per hour and uh, That'll be plenty this, this engine's probably not going to put out too much more than about 375 horse 350 maybe um, I decided not to run a separate fuel filter for now um, these Hollies come with centered fuel filters built into the carburetor. So because I'm running a brand new gas tank and brand new lines and everything's been cleaned up and blown out, I, I don't see a reason for it right now. I may change my mind about that later. But, uh, okay, so we'll, we'll call this update too. And uh, that's it for now. Over and out, Pete North Las Vegas.